All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 5 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. Now, x to the power of 5 and 5, these two are interchangeable, meaning I can rewrite this. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n, th these two are interchangeable, so this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of m, and that's equal to a to the power of m times n, this means that a to the power of n times m, that should equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So x to the power of x to the power of 5 to the power of 5, I can switch the places of these two. And now this is going to equal x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 100 to the power of 5. So from here, I'm going to rewrite 100 as 10 squared. So now I get x to the power of 5 to the power of x to the power of 5 is equal to 10 squared to the power of 5. And again, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 5, that's going to equal 10 to the power of 2 times 5, and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 5 equal to variable y. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 10 to the power of 10. If I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 10. Now remember how we let x to the power of 5 equal to y. So this means that x to the power of 5 is equal to 10. And to solve this, I'm going to take the fifth root on both sides. The fifth root of x to the power of 5 is simply x. So I'm left with x is equal to fifth root of 10. All right, so in this problem, I have 500 squared minus 499 squared. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So for method one, I'll first start by rewriting this, 500 squared minus 499 squared. And well, first off, I'm going to rewrite 500 squared. So 500 squared, this is the same thing as 499 plus 1 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is 499 and b equals 1. So this turns into 499 squared plus 2 times 499 times 1 plus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 499 squared plus 998 plus 1. And remember, at the end here, I have negative 499 squared. So now we can add that back in. 
and 499 squared minus 499 squared, these two cancel out. So I'm left with 998 plus 1. And this is equal to 999. So that is the first method of solving this problem. Now for method 2, here we are on our problem. 500 squared minus 499 squared. And now this time, in last time we wrote, we wrote 500 squared, right? This time I'm going to rewrite 499 squared. So 499 squared is the same thing as 500 minus 1 squared. And if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is 500 and b is 1. So this is going to turn into 500 squared minus 2 times 500 plus, sorry, minus 2 times 500 times 1 plus 1 squared. And this simplifies to 500 squared minus 1,000 plus 1. And now we can go back and replace 499 squared with this. So we get 500 squared minus 500 squared minus 1,000 plus 1. And this is all in parentheses, by the way. So now this is equal to 500 squared and now we're going to distribute the negative sign. So if I distribute the negative sign, that's basically like multiplying these terms by negative 1. So negative 1 times 500 squared is negative 500 squared. Negative 1 times negative 1,000 is positive 1,000. And negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. Now these two 500 squares cancel out. So I'll be left with 1,000 minus 1. And 1,000 minus 1 is 999. So again, I get 999 as my answer.